it sounds always scary when someone says you should sue it's not like you're going to be bringing them down or trying to bring ill on a company or an organization but it's really just getting fair compensation for an injury that shouldn't have happened. If I were working on my own, I would never have been able to pursue a case. I would have just gotten nothing. My name is Alexandra Landeros. I am the finance director with El Pueblo, a 501c3 nonprofit organization based in Wake County, and we do grassroots organizing and advocacy for the Latinx community. Back in 2021, it was the weekend of my daughter's birthday. She was turning four that weekend, and we had a little birthday party in the courtyard of an old townhouse building where we lived. It was just going to be a small gathering with a few close friends and family, and I was going up and down three or four steps from our back door out to the courtyard, getting things out to get ready, and my daughter was, of course, following right behind me. She was very interested in what was happening, and I'm going up the steps, and I realize, oh, why am I falling? Wait, this is not a normal fall, and then next thing I realize, I look down and my whole leg has gone through one of the steps. It was definitely a very shocking thing to happen, especially the day of my daughter's birthday party. We pulled my leg out and it was looking pretty bad. I had this massive scratch of many fine lines because if you imagine your leg falling through broken concrete and brick with a bunch of jagged edges. When I went to bed that night, it was in serious pain. We went to the emergency room. I wasn't sure maybe I had broken something or was getting an infection. And I got a tetanus shot and they said, well, this is basically a case of just really bad road rash. It's going to be painful, but you might want to get checked out because I was also feeling pain in my, my whole leg and my hips and my back. Essentially what one would feel, I imagine, after being in a car accident. I ended up missing a lot of work that first week and I had the emergency room bill and then follow up with a chiropractor and then also dealing with the emotional trauma of having something like this happen on my daughter's birthday. My daughter having been right behind me, she still talks about it. Mama, are you gonna fall through the steps again on my birthday? I started talking to some people and they said, oh my gosh, that's definitely the apartment's fault. You should never <laughs> have fallen through that. There was definitely some faulty construction you should sue. And I had never had anything like that happen to me before. So I went on Facebook like most of us do. And I just posted, does anyone know an injury lawyer? And a mutual friend connected me to Annabelle. I reached out and really from the first conversation I had with Annabelle, I felt so taken care of. I didn't feel the need to talk to other lawyers. What I really liked about working with Annabelle that really stood out to me from that first conversation is that we had shared values. I think she really understood the impact that it had on my family and on my job to really understand that this was just more than just, oh, you physically hurt yourself, but to see how this impacted my life as a whole. Annabelle assessed the situation. She described what the next steps would be. She had me send in photos, gave me guidance on how to document everything. She was very helpful in helping guide me through all the ins and outs of making a, an injury case like this. It was by the end of that year, they were able to get a settlement and it was more than I had expected and it definitely felt that it had compensated for my medical bills and for the time and that I had to take off of work and the emotional distress. I just found it very easy to work with Annabelle. It was very easy to understand the process and what I needed to do and what my role would be. And really beyond that, I was pretty hands off. After I sent all the information that Annabelle needed, then I really didn't have to do anything. There was never a trial. I never had to meet with the property manager. I didn't even have to talk to them on the phone. Annabelle handled everything directly. It was worth the investment. I don't have the legal knowledge to know how to pursue a case like that. My only other option was to not do anything and so it just seemed like an easy choice to work with Annabelle. It's really about seeking fair compensation for an, an injury that really was of no fault of your own. If it was on your own property then you would have your own insurance to cover it. In this case it was the property that was owned by somebody else so it was their responsibility. That's really all it is. It's just seeking fairness. It's just about having fair compensation. I 
followed up with a chiropractor until the chiropractor felt I didn't need to see him anymore. All of that was covered through the settlement and my leg has been fine. Annabelle always had a very warm demeanor. She seemed to be someone who not only cared about her work but seems to really care about people as well.